What's up guys, it's Dom Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to a new channel. So this is Travel H Definition, so high definition. Uh, and this is a tour of Versailles, so tour of Versailles 4K Palace of Versailles. So yeah, probably the, it's got to be the largest palace in the world, if I'm not mistaken, right? I don't think there's a larger one. Maybe there is, but I'm pretty sure there's not. This thing is absolutely massive. Uh, and yeah, we did uh, a couple different castle videos last week. And this one came up in a couple of them, which I thought was kind of interesting because I, don't, I didn't really consider Versailles Castle. I don't know technically if it is or not. I always consider it a palace. I'm not sure what the distinction is there. But I, I guess part of it is I consider like a castle like fortifications and versus a palace being just like a, 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 a royal's home. But maybe that's just a distinction that I made that's not actually real. Uh, but anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Oh, that line would be so irritating. This is the this is the worst thing. If you're big into history, this is the worst thing about like certain historic sites. The the good thing is most sites aren't like this, right? It's usually only like the super super iconic ones, right? Like um, so I've been to Cuba. I've been to a, a bunch of places in the United States and Canada and Mexico, and. Most historic places, you go there and there's like maybe a handful of people. A lot of them, there's like literally no one. The only place I've ever been where it was like an old historic place and they had like a fucking massive line like this was uh, Chicken Itza in Mexico, which is the old Mayan temple and pyramid. That was definitely worth it, right? It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, you got to see like where they used to play the, the, the hit ball game that you see in the road to El Dorado. Um, you got to see a lot of the, like the temple complex around it, the, the pyramid itself, definitely worth it. But that was the only place I've ever been that actually had like this kind of line, probably because it's one of those, you know, iconic places. But yeah, it, this is definitely the worst thing about being a history fan when you go to travel is, you know, if you're the kind of person that wants to go visit these sites, right? I, I've noticed there's two kinds of travelers, right? There's the people that basically just want to get drunk in another country, right? They go there to party and get shit faced. And then there's the people that want to see the natural and historical wonders, um, and sometimes those people are divided. Some people are just into the nature. Some people are just into the history. But I find most people are into both. Uh, but yeah, if you're one of the people that likes to travel, not so much to drink and party, but more so to, you know, see this, the historical and natural sites, this can be very annoying. <laughs> oh, is that gold? Like actual gold or is it just gold plated? I'd imagine it's just gold plated. It actually does look a lot nicer than I thought it did. When the, the 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 view from far away did not look as nice. Wow. Yeah. This is, I know it's like so cost prohibitive, but I wish they would do stuff like this in buildings today. You rarely see this in anything from like the 1930s onward, but you used to always see like just this gorgeous like engraving into into everything. Now it's just all just flat. It's all like very economical. Oh, that looks beautiful.
Renaissance style paintings. I don't know if the, those won't be actual Renaissance era, right? Because this wasn't built until way after the Renaissance, if I'm not mistaken. were modern recreations and how many of them are actual old Roman and Greek busts. I'd imagine the majority are modern recreations. Well, modern as in when the palace was built. this size, even with modern technology, takes so long, right? But on top of that, the entire thing is all these like hyper elaborate interior designing stuff that you would like never see in a modern house. And then the roofs are literal paintings. Like I, the, the time it would take to do this, man, is just insane. they remind me of like birthday cake like the I, I don't even know how to describe it it's like literally just birthday cake like you know what I mean it's I don't know why it's called birthday cake because like most people I know for their birthday did not get a birthday cake cake they get like a fucking either like an ice cream cake or like a chocolate cake or something I don't even think I know anyone that's ever had like a birthday cake for their cake but if, if you know what I mean by birthday cake this is what it looks like
relaxing. It's like almost putting me to sleep. God about royal palaces like maybe it's just because I'm a country boy I grew up in the country um, you know both my grandparents are farmers like both sets of grandparents are farmers um, so for me like when I think of like where is it that you'd want to, like if you could have anything you want where and you know you could live anywhere you want uh, and have any kind of house you want my first thought is like a decent size farm Maybe on like the edge of the mountains where you kind of get like a little bit of that mountain terrain. And th yeah, that's, you know, with some nice woods, build like a, a one of those like lo nice log cabin style houses. Um, you know, but I, I don't think of like, yeah, I'm going to have like a fucking 10,000 room palace. I, I just, yeah, for me, it's just so foreign. Uh, but I, I guess it was the thing for the royals, especially the French. The French really seem to like this stuff. The, mon the French monarchy, I should say. Just carving that out would take so long. It'd probably take like a day or two for each like little panel there, and there's like hundreds of panels per room. Oh, that's it. So they have a wall that's like the history of France. That's interesting. beautiful but it's like I don't know if I'd want this as my house <laughs> later because wasn't the palace of Versailles okay so the one the palace of Versailles is technically a castle apparently um, yeah when was it 1661 so yeah it was built about 150 years before Napoleon took power nearly 150 years uh, Was owned by the government of France since 1995. Wait, who owned it before that? Like, is the royal family still own it? Uh, Louis built a hunting lodge on his favorite hunting grounds, 19 kilometers west of Paris. Uh, wooded wetlands, Louis Court scorned as being generally unworthy of a king. Uh, one of his courtiers, friends would have visited rid of the lodge, would not inspire vanity in even the simplest gentleman. See, Louis knew what he was doing, uh, you know. He just wants a hunting lodge. Louis's my boy. Uh, when Louis died, Anne became Louis XIV regent, and Louis XIII's chateau was abandoned for the next decade. She moved uh, the court back to Paris, where Anne and the chief minister continued Louis' unpopular monetary practices. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, work on Versailles was first concentrated in the gardens through the 1660s. So they ruined his hunting grounds. Terrible. 
Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh well. So, it, okay, so it was owned by different government branches pretty much since the revolution from the looks of it. Yeah, so it started as, like, boy, the buddy's hunting ground, and then eventually his descendants just kind of ruined it and turned it into this. Which, I mean, it is a gorgeous building, but... I guess had they not done that, it would just be urban sprawl today, so... It's gonna get ruined anyway. This is still very beautiful, even outside. I always thought those were taller. You see the pictures of them from the air, and they always seem way taller. I didn't realize they were so flat. Like, why would you want that as your house? Again, it's beautiful, but I, I could just, to my mind, that's so foreign, like, wanting to live there permanently. I always imagine those being so much taller, like the little maze gardens. I always thought they'd be so much taller for some reason. natural rock formation there. Yeah, again, very beautiful, but uh, uh, I don't know if it's just, you know, my country boy fucking sensibilities, but living there just seemed, would be so weird to me. Again, like, it's a gorgeous building, and right? obviously, like, very historically important, but I, I just don't understand the thought process of living in a palace that big 
I'm more with the, like the original Louis that started building it, where he just wanted this fucking hunting lodge that's in all the woods. <laughs> that, that's my kind of king. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.